Mountains. When you think of medical marijuana in Montana, you probably do not think of little children. Allison Weller introduces us to one of the state's youngest card holders, a two and a half year old boy who battled brain cancer. Of the state's over 28,000 medical cannabis card holders, 51 of them are under the age of 18. That's one of the things that I think is one of the biggest misperceptions is that there's a ton of kids that are out here that have their cards, you know, that are in high school and junior high and that are buying this medical cannabis and giving it to their friends, and that's just simply not true. The Medical Marijuana Act says in order for children to get a card, they have to follow specific guidelines. The minor's physician has to explain the potential risks and benefits of the medical use of marijuana. The custodial parent or legal consents to the medical use of marijuana by the minor, agrees to serve as the minor's caregiver, and agrees to control the acquisition of marijuana and the dosage and frequency of the medical use of marijuana by the minor. More often, though, that the children who are under the age of 18 have very, very, very serious medical conditions. This is two-and-a-half-year-old Cash Hyde. He's battled a brain tumor and won. Cash is one of the state's youngest medical cannabis patients. I believe that, you know, Cash is with us for a lot of reasons. You know, he is a patient of medical cannabis, which is, I think, greatly benefited his battle. Cash's parents were there every step through his battle and watched as drugs prescribed by his doctors made him hallucinate and even stop his heart. I watched Cashy not be able to eat for over 40 days to the point where he couldn't lift his head up off his pillow. I realized along the way in this, in this journey that there is a quality of life that a lot of people do not have and it's because of the drugs that they're given. With medical cannabis so new to many, some are worried of the effects it might have on young developing brains. Brandy Tyree is a substance abuse prevention specialist who spends her days trying to keep kids away from marijuana. The THC will interfere with um, concentration, learning, problem solving, short term memory, all things that kids need, especially when they're in school and trying to learn. It's a substance that's harmful for the brain during development. We believe it's harmful for kids. And in our opinion, no, we don't think kids should be using marijuana. I would tell people before they make a decision um, on this to really do their research and check the facts out. If you or someone you know has battled cancer, I don't have to tell you how devastating it is to watch chemotherapy and cancer consume your loved one. And when you can actually watch something that you're doing for them actually benefit them in a way that nobody else can do. You feel, you feel empowered and you feel like you can make a difference. Reporting in Missoula, I'm Allison Weller for Montana's News Station. There are a number of different ways young children can use medical cannabis. Instead of smoking it, they can ingest it through baked goods, take a pill, or by liquid form. The loss of life on Canyon Ferry over the weekend with some who reached safety in our Montana Minute. And a mix of weather that could...